Now, Ghana's rise in debt is expected to be the major focus of any negotiation should the government agree to have a program with the International Monetary Farm Fund. Now, this is what Joy Business has picked up from persons with knowledge of ongoing discussions between the fund and Ghana. George Rafi has the latest. Sources say the country's major problem now is debt sustainability. Therefore, any program should look at how to quickly deal with this challenge facing the country. Initial data shows that it may involve a lot of work and that could result in cutting down on government's expenditure. We even understand that there could be the likelihood that some of government's flagship program may be frozen in order to contain this rise in debt stock. Ghana's debt stock ended in March this year stood are 392 billion Ghana cities and we are currently classified by the World Bank as high risk of debt distress country. But looking at the way things are going, it could take about six months or to a year for any program with Ghana to take off with the IMF. That is if government makes that formal request today and that should be followed by another one that is usually called a letter of intent that should be signed by the governor of the Bank of Ghana Dr. Ernest Addison and Finance Minister Ken Ofoyata. Sources say the program to stabilize the economy should be put forward by government and the IMF will give its approval. That is to say, the program should be owned by the government of Ghana. But looking at the way things are going, negotiations would indeed be difficult and one may not rule out any surprises in the last minute as to whether government we really want to go ahead with a program with the IMF. And that's business. Sports is coming up. Do stay tuned.